Let's now take a look at a new technology coming soon from EMC called the Solera NFS plugin for VMware. It allows you to manage and provision NFS storage directly from within vCenter. The first thing we're going to do is create a new data store. Let's call it Affinity. We'll select the control station or management interface for the Solera in our network, one of its data movers, and specifically one of its interfaces that's going to advertise this new NFS storage. We'll also need to specify the storage pool that's going to deliver the storage and an initial capacity. As well, we're going to leverage virtual provisions so we can grow our file system over time non-disruptively. We're going to set the maximum at 500 gig. In addition, we can set advanced settings under the advanced section and commit that. Now once that's completed, this system is this file system is automatically being created in the back end by the Solera and then presented to the front end at the VMware level. Now, I've created this file system, provisioned the storage at the cluster level, so all hosts within that cluster are going to have security and access control and the ability to mount this storage automatically. In fact, it's automatically mounted it to both of the systems that are represented in that cluster object. Now, also, it's important to understand, you can provision storage at the data center object, at the host object, at the cluster object, and at a folder object. Now, behind the scenes, if we look at the Solera Manager, we can see that that new data store has been created. In addition, we can look at its properties and see that deduplication has been turned on. Now, once that's been set, we want to provision storage on this new data store. We have the ability to create full clones. Full clones are full image copies of a fully installed VM. Now we need to specify the clone count, give it a name, optionally we could associate a customization spec. This will give it a, a sense of uniqueness. It, it can provide uh, a new machine name, new IP address, go through the sysprep process. In addition, we want to select the data store. In question, we're going to leverage the data store we created in the first step. Now behind the scenes, what's happening is we're fully cloning that VMDK at the Solera level, it's making a full image copy, and then it's registering that system directly into the vCenter interface. So now that, that full image clone is available for use. As you can see, it's using all of the allocated storage associated with that VM. In this case, it's around 8 gigs in size. Now once that's complete, what we're going to do is create a series of fast clones off of the full clone. So First thing we're going to do is specify the location. In this case, we're going to select a destination at our cluster level where these fast clones are going to be associated, the number of clones, and we're going to give it a naming convention. So we'll call it Affinity Fast Clone. And it'll append a series of numbers after that. And optionally, we could also um, select a customization spec and power them on automatically. Now, it's important to understand that if you're going to leverage fast cloning, you cannot leverage fast cloning on top of a compressed VM. And we'll talk about compression in a moment. And as you can see in the inventory, what's happening as we watch this and refresh is that these VMs are automatically being created and spawned as a part of the cloning process. And what's unique about this is that as the VMs get created, if you have multiple nodes within your cluster object, they'll automatically be balanced across those nodes. It's kind of a convenient load balancing mechanism as a part of the plugin. Now, I mentioned cloning before, and I'll, I mentioned compression rather before. One of the aspects of the Solera file system is we not only deduplicate, but we also have the ability to compress. So the plugin allows you to, on demand, click on a given VM, whether it's turned on or turned off, and initiate the compression process. Now, using compression, we can gain, um, basically, compress and save up to 40 to 50 percent per VMDK, which is a huge amount of savings, especially in a VMware environment where there's typically a lot of redundancy. Now, optionally, you can also decompress on demand. So if you've already compressed a series of VMs and you want to reinflate them, if you will, you can do that on demand with no hassle. Now, lastly, after we've played around with compression and cloning, uh, one of the other aspects of our environment is growing the file system. So I'm going to have the ability to extend that storage that I provisioned earlier in a simple and easy to use step. I'll simply add the additional capacity that I require at this given time, let's say 100 gigs, and then commit that. Now behind the scenes, the plugin is directing essentially the Solera to grow that file system that we, do, that we built in our first step today. Now if we check the Solera manager behind the scenes, we can see that that file system has grown from 200 gigs, and after we refresh, it'll grow to 300 gigs.
extending the amount of available storage resource for our VMware environment.